Hey you guys, welcome back. So I've had my car for about a year, and I love the way it looks, and I love the way it drives. But you know, the more I research about cars, and the more I research about the 911, the more I've found that, you know, people like to tune them to their own sort of personal tastes, to make them a little bit more unique and a little bit more personalized. So I'm thinking about doing a few things myself. The challenge I have is that without knowing too much about them, I'm a little unsure or a little, uh, let's say, nervous about going ahead and doing them, worrying about any sort of detrimental effects they might have on the value of the car and uh, the, the engine, ultimately. So as an example, I really like the idea of doing either the Fab Speed or the K&N higher performance air intake. It's a relatively cheap mod. It's, it's relatively easy to do from what I can see. Um, reportedly, it can give you, you know, 10 to 15 uh, horsepower gain. Uh, is that even noticeable? I'm not sure. Uh, but what does that do to the engine? Is that additional air that's sucking up and doing another 10 to 15 horsepower above and beyond what the engine was designed to do? Is that gonna do any long lasting damage? I, I don't know. I've looked online, uh, you know, the forums, Renlist, etc. Uh, checked out a bunch of YouTube videos that, you know, really just show the, uh, the installation job itself. Uh, not actually talking about the, the effects or the, the, any of the cons about doing that kind of mod. So, I don't know, I'm a little unsure about that. If anyone out there knows if there's any detrimental effect to the engine of doing that kind of an intake, then uh, please let me know. Having said that, because it's a relatively easy install, that's the type of mod that I'd be happy doing. A couple of hundred dollars for the kit, running it for a couple of weeks to see if it makes any noticeable uh, change to the performance or uh, improvement to the sound of the engine. And if I don't like it, you know, maybe I could uh, sell it on eBay secondhand, get some of my money back, or just, you know, put it in the cupboard and, and, uh, and, and store it. Maybe I'll change my mind again and want to put it in, you know, some, somewhere along down the line. So I don't know, that's something that I'm, I'm probably going to do just to see what, it, see what it's like. And if I don't like it, I'll switch it back. The other mod I'm considering uh, is doing something to the exhaust. I really like the idea of just grunting up the sound of the exhaust just a little bit. Nothing too obnoxious to scare the neighbors or uh, annoy the neighbors. But something that just gives you that extra growl as you, uh, as you accelerate away. I also even just like the idea of turning on the engine and hearing that extra grunt uh, when the engine's idling. Again, nothing too obnoxious. Uh, now, Fab Speed have got a great muffler delete kit, so I'm considering that. I think that runs about six, six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, something like that. Um, apparently, it's a DIY job. Maybe takes three or four hours. So I've got the lift, or I've got my uh, my Rhino ramps. I've got a jack, of course. Get the car up off the ground. Get underneath a little bit uh, with a little bit more access. Um, and you know what? For three or four hours, that sounds like a fun project. Um, Again, the potential downsides of that is I'm, I'm removing stock equipment off the car, uh, and what's that going to do for the resale value? I think uh, maybe uh, racing enthusiasts, maybe uh, performance enthusiasts who are looking for a 996 uh, might be interested in that kind of a mod. Um, a regular Joe kind of driver, <laughs> kind of like me, who doesn't know too much about the ins and outs of performance cars, but wants a entry-level supercar or fancy car like a 911, maybe that would turn them off buying it uh, because you know it's it, it's a custom it's a custom mod and it's removed that stock equipment. So I don't know. That sounds like a bit of a leap. Um, again, if you guys have any opinions on on the Fab Speed uh, muffler delete kit, please let me know. The other thing uh, potentially to do to the exhaust is the uh, the Gundo hack, uh, which is a I think a two or three inch pipe uh, that that sort of partially bypasses the muffler. So you've still got the stock equipment on the car, but you're actually damaging it. You know you are welding this pipe just across uh, from from one pipe to the other and, and partially uh, you know missing the the, the, the muffler. Um, Apparently that's cheaper. Apparently the sound is really good. You know, there are a lot of YouTube videos out there again to show you what's going on and 
to show you the difference. Um, in fact, one of my one of my favorite uh, 9/11 channels, uh, Car Fanatic, guy in the Bay Area, really really cool videos. Uh, I think he's done the Gundo hack to his 997, and it sounds awesome. Um, but is there any going back from that? Again, if you want to sell the car, is that going to uh, harm or improve um, the sellability of the car and, and the value? Um, at least with the muffler delete kit, if you don't like it, you can always take it off and put the uh, put the stock mufflers back on. Um, if if you're trying to sell a car, you can uh, you know give the give the buyer. Uh, the stock equipment to put back on or even put it back on for them before selling if they don't want the delete kit. Uh, but with the Gundo hack, I think, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, there's no going back from that. So what to do there? Not entirely sure. Uh, but you know, it's only a couple of hundred dollars from what I've seen online. Um, there's a couple of custom exhaust places here in the Twin Cities that would do the job. Um, you know, I guess, could you could you weld and take it off? Yeah, probably. Um, I don't know. Anyway, again, anybody out there who's got any opinions on the Gundo hack or the, uh, the Fab Speed muffler delete, I would love to hear what you think. Uh, maybe help me uh, make this decision. I think engine-wise, there's no damage I'd do to the engine with either of those exhaust options. Um, and from what I've seen, I wouldn't be breaking any sound laws uh, you know, here in, in Minnesota. Um, and I don't think I'd be breaking the emissions laws either. Um, but I really like the idea of, of uh, giving it a gruntier sound, especially after driving a 991 last week with a sports exhaust on. My God, it sounded awesome. Uh, so that's the other mod I uh, am considering. So let me know, uh, what do you think? Uh, either the air intake mod or the uh, either of the uh, exhaust options. I'd really like to hear any uh, 996 or 997 owners' opinions out there or anyone with any cars who've done that kind of work. Uh, let me know. Hit the like if you like, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. See you again, bye.